created written and directed by Pushpendra Nath Mishra Chuna starring Jimmy Shergill Ashim Gulati Ashad Wasi Bikram Kochar Namit Das Chandan Rai Gyanendra Tripathi Monica Panwar and Niharika Lera Dutt in the lead roles is finally released on Netflix as the comedy heist series releases on the streaming platform we thought this would be the perfect time to give you an overview and discuss some hidden details of the series so that you can have the best viewing experience a spoiler warning is in order as we will be discussing essential plot points and character details from the show so if you haven't been able to catch up with the series yet maybe you should pause the video and get back to watching it on Netflix but if you are done watching it already kindly follow us through this video and yeah while you're at it please like the video and subscribe to our channel it helps us a lot thank you well let's move on the series starts with an influential politician shukla who is a stern believer in astrology and he suspects that something bad is about to happen to him he is a political broker who sells his party members to the highest bidder he even mediates deals and arranges rave parties for the influentials The narrator asks the audience to take note of the time when everything starts unfolding which is around 2 in the morning. Shukla is visited by the pandit who warns him that Grahraj Shani's influence is heavy on his feet. He asks Shukla to halt his work for 3 months but he is unable to do so as he is planning to sabotage the current government by buying 3 MLAs. At that exact moment the pandit receives a call from the CM but Shukla gets the hint and asks his loyal bodyguard Madan Singh to drop him. Madan goes ahead and kills the man for betraying his master. Then we meet contractor JP and Ansari who decide to team up at a bar after learning about their shared hate for Shukla. Shukla wants to make a mall in Pathani Tola, a slum area and he promises Shina build us this land to get financial aid that will help his political career. Meanwhile Ansari tells JP his reason for hating Shukla as he was the one who got Folad Singh killed with the help of his influence in the police. Folad was the leader of Shukla's rival gang and Ansari's mother saw him as a brother. Since then Ansari has been planning to get back to his mortal enemy. Ansari also leads his own team of goons and he is one of the buckets or leaders working under Mintu Grenade a local gangster. But Mintu is not happy with Ansari's ever increasing influence so he reprimands him for misbehaving with one of his gang members. After the incident Ansari decided to start his own party. He shakes his hand with the rebel leader Shabi, the man who started the uprising against the construction of the mall. Later Ansari visits Shukla and tries to mediate a deal between Shukla and Shabi. He even asks Shukla to give him an election ticket and in return he promises to pledge his loyalty. Shukla however refuses and asks him to go but he has his eyes set on the up and coming gangster. Meanwhile Mintu and his minion go to confront Ansari but he extorts money from the Mazi party after apprehending them. Mazi party on the other hand tells everything about Ansari to Shukla and Shukla's men apprehend him. They also bring Shabir and manage to threaten both of them that Nexus has failed and Ansari is forced to back off. He was planning again to get back to Shukla that's when he made GB and decided to collaborate to bring Shukla down. JP was a well connected contractor till he made a mistake in one of Shukla's projects. As the building was not according to Bastu, Shukla decided not to inaugurate it, which affected JP immensely. He lost his status and was forced to do small jobs, so Ansari decides to bring him to Banke, a police inspector and his friend come rival. Though they had different ideologies, Banke and Ansari were eager to bring Shukla down. Banke lost his respect in front of his peers when he once mistakenly insulted and hit Shukla in front of the public eye and in return he got slapped by his superior Rastogi who was working for Shukla. The three of them plan a heist and want to steal a huge amount approximately 300 crores from Shukla which he was collecting to overthrow the current government. They got the lead from Tiloki who is a master of disguise and he did similar heists in the past. Tiloki was collaborating with Bishnu Shukla's brother-in-law who was a trusted man for Shukla and an inside man for Tiloki who had dreams of his own. Shukla decides to perform the Nikombila yagna and Vishnu while sitting near the fire recalls the death of his sister. Shukla after getting married to his sister learned that his life will be threatened by his kid so the disloyal and lustful man decided to kill her and took Vishnu with him to the city. Since then Vishnu is looking for an opportunity to exact revenge on the man who killed his sister and as a result of that he became mute. He joins the quartet and after initial disagreement they decide to work together. Meanwhile we are introduced to Jhumpa Tiloki's fiance who is a tech geek but she has a problem with Tiloki's dishonest ways of earning money. Both of them once tried to test their loyalties and after passing the test they came close to one another. Then we meet Bela Banke's sister and Ansari's love interest. Banke is unaware of their love story but under his nose they became completely inseparable. 
She was once a trainee at the police academy, but after misbehaving with her seniors, she decided to become a news anchor instead. After learning that she is pregnant, she calls Ansari in, but as she finds that he is not interested to marry her so soon, she decides to hide the news from him. In the meantime, Ansari learns that Shabi's house has been burned by Shukla's men, but after getting there and seeing Mintu and his men, a fight breaks out amongst them. Before anything bad can happen, the police apprehend Ansari and Shukla's plan has failed as the media intervenes with their plan. With Ansari's increasing popularity, Shukla decides to divide the team and informs Banke about his sister's affair with Ansari. He confronts Ansari in jail and reprimands him for betraying his trust. The CM is well aware of Shukla's game so he plans a coup amongst his group but Shukla stops his Emily's from betraying him and kills the one who started it all. Meanwhile, we learn that Panditji is still alive and it was Bishnu who saved him at the last moment. They had secretly collaborated before and Panditji decided to help him after learning about the story of his sister. He is now completely loyal to Bishnu and owes his life to the mute kid. But surprisingly, we learn that Vishnu with Panditji's help could speak for a long time, but he decided to hide it from everyone else. Ansari gets a bail with Shukla's influence as he was becoming more and more popular among the masses, so the veteran politician wanted to deal with him externally. Though Mintu and his team offered to kill him, Shukla asked them to stay peaceful until his other conflicts, including the mall issue, are not resolved. Panditji joined the group, but Jhumpa tracked them down with Banke's IP address, who sent her a friend request. She reprimands Triloki for planning another heist, but he reassures her that it will be his last mission and they are not doing anything wrong in particular as they are stealing from a corrupt leader. After getting the red signal from Shukla, Mintu and his team kidnap Bila to get their revenge from the wannabe gangster. Ansari and Banke team up to free Bila, but before they can reach there, Bila frees herself using her weapons training at the academy and after the boys enter Mintu's area, they indulge in a violent fight. Without any casualties though, they managed to get out of there after learning that Bila is safe. Shukla requested that Rastogi, his devoted policeman, arrest Mintu as a punishment. By inviting Ansari to join his party, Shukla was attempting to calm the situation at Pathani Tola. Ansari was initially hesitant but he soon realized that if he turned down the offer, Shukla would start to doubt him even more. The only thing he had ever wanted was to join Shukla's party and get an election ticket, so he chose to accept it. Despite Ansari's request, Shukla did not depart from Pathani Tola with the additional chaos. Ansari appeared to be on Shukla's side to the media, but in fact he was working against him. Ansari's decision to openly join Shukla's party was not well received by his teammate, but he was able to resolve the issue later. Shukla was duped by Triloki using his cunning abilities. Triloki, posing as an Aghori astrologer, tricked his way into Shukla's home with the aid of Bishnu. The Pathani Tola situation had gotten more complicated than anticipated with the chief minister taking action against Shukla. Shukla began to question his aptitude for math and look for an astrologer to provide direction. Triloki then steps in and through his astrological demonstrations and the installation of a certain air of mysticism, he manages to persuade Shukla that he is the only person who could possibly save him. Shukla thought that the Aghori astrologer was either a divine being or a cunning con artist. Triloki vanished into the thin air after asking Madan Singh to chant a prayer and that was just another tactic to persuade Shukla that the man possessed paranormal abilities. Triloki's prophecies came true for Shukla but it was all meticulously planned and expertly carried out by the team and Shukla began looking for the Aghori astrologer. The moment Triloki arrived at his party office the following day, Shukla informed Triloki that he would be receiving money from the builder and inquired as to whether the occasion was appropriate for such a transaction. Triloki advised him to carry out the transaction before the solar eclipse and expose the money to the sun's radiation in order to clean up the tainted cash. Shukla was persuaded to follow the Aghori astrologer's absurd logic and he even believed that turning the bathroom toilet in a lucky direction would bring luck. The day after that, J.P. Yadav entered Shukla's party office while dressed up as a plumber. He moved the toilet and dug a hole for Ansari to hide in. Ansari was unable to enter through the front door and they needed someone to stay there and since everyone at the party office knew him, they carried out this plan. Ansari then camped inside the confined area. For their part, Bella and Banke located Madan Singh on the day of the solar eclipse and dosed him with anesthetics as they worked on their strategy. Bishnu announced that it was his last day and he offered to amuse the party of his security guards with a VR film. While the guards were occupied watching the VR film, Vishnu assisted JP and Chumpa in preparing their gear in a police van. Vishnu was supposed to be the one in the surveillance room, but after being licked by the dogs he had given sleeping pills to, he passed out. 
There was no choice but for Chumpa to intervene, set the security footage on a loop and fix the mechanism that would detonate the bomb placed in the bathroom. Ansari popped out from behind the wall as soon as the bomb detonated, prepared to resume his assigned duties. He entered the space, turned off the laser system and began packing each suitcase with a large amount of cash. He transferred the bags to JP and Chumpa using a zipline. He finally added a few finishing touches that were meant to irritate Shukla before leaving. Shukla was engaged in a purification ritual with Triloki while the gang carried out the operation. Triloki is tested on his knowledge of astrology by Shukla near the end, but Triloki somehow passes the test. Shukla and his men accepted the tea Bella who was posing as the housemaid had offered them. The revered politician was quickly knocked out after drinking her sedative infused tea. After breaking out of Shukla's home, Triloki and Bella ran into the rest of the tea. When Shukla regained consciousness, he heard a whimper coming from the kitchen and saw that his housemaid was restrained and locked inside a cabinet. He was immediately aware that the Ghori astrologer had deceived him, but he was unsure of the extent of the heist. Shukla discovered that all of his money was gone. The door automatically locked as soon as he stepped inside the disorganized bathroom. The heist team greeted Shukla by using a monitor they had installed in the restroom. He didn't care about the others as they came forward one at a time, but he was astounded to see Vishnu on the other side. When Shukla heard Vishnu speak, he stumbled. Such a turn of events was not something he had at all expected. He vowed to eliminate each of them while refusing to acknowledge that he was the cause of his own demise. Shukla might have survived the unfortunate period of his life if he had not destroyed the lives of so many people. However, the one thing that stuck with Shukla instead of letting him accept his failure was the need to respect the planets and the astrological significance of their positions. To open the restroom, Shukla was required to recite this line. Paulad Singh, Zindabad, unlocked. Which was a revenge from Ansari. Even after selling all of his possessions to pay Sinai Builders back, he still lacked 10 crores. But the business was unforgiving and the builders ultimately backed the chief minister. Shukla was helpless without money and his hopes of overthrowing the government never came true. He was eventually sent to prison because the chief minister no longer required him. After being granted bail, Shukla realized that he had nowhere to live or work, so he made the decision to return to his hometown and restart his political career there. The show's conclusion is definitive, but a second season could be made if that were the audience's preference. Shukla can come back to exact revenge on his hit group, but it might be a stretch given that he has lost everything and needs to start over in his career. Too many people have been wronged by him for him to ever return to his former opulent lifestyle. The entire incident only taught Shukla to respect astrology more, a fear that the group had instilled in him, but it did not cause him to change as a person. He returned to blaming and fearing the unseen rather than analyzing the situation logically. It simply states that the Shuklas around us won't change and they might just add a few more rings for extra security. Indian Bella decides to split up with Ansari. She was prepared to raise her child alone and was worried that Ansari would develop into a ruthless politician like Shukla. Although Ansari was devastated, Banke was pleased with his sister's choice. While Triloki and Jhumpa worked to come up with a plan to spend the money wisely, Vishnu packed his bags and left for Andaman as planned. Jhumpa had just discovered that Triloki was a former student activist. He was angry with capitalists in general, which is why he hated someone like Shukla. Despite the fact that Jhumpa called him a thief, she was a little impressed when she learned about his philosophy. Panditji began working for the CM as was to be expected from him. According to Panditji's prediction, Shukla had no chance of succeeding. However, I suppose that only time will tell that. Overall, Chuna is an exciting journey to a whirlwind of vengeance and chaos where an unlikely team of underdogs battles a formidable foe. The show is a captivating Daisy story that provides a generous serving of entertainment. Chuna is without a doubt a series to watch if you enjoy high thrillers with slick action sequences, unforgettable characters and a dash of humor attached to it. However, according to me, the running length felt a bit long and that that story could have been told in just 6 episodes. Hey hey hey, thank you for watching this video. Do share your thoughts in the comment section about your experience of watching Tuna on Netflix. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to get your weekly dose of cinema and series. See you at the next one and for the time being we are signing off. Achha chalte hain, aap jaise organizer ka koi bharosa nahi. Jab tak zinda rahenge, kuch na kuch organize karte rahenge and I'll be back.